John Henry Weston. I am the co-founder and editor-in-chief of LifeSiteNews.com, and we are the largest pro-life, pro-family news website on the planet. Uh, we're an international service. We have reporters in uh, Paris, London, England, uh, in New Zealand, Australia, of course a whole bureau in America, a bureau in Canada, and in Latin America as well. Well, it's absolutely pathetic. Uh, that's why we formed LifeSite News uh, almost 20 years ago now. And it was because the mainstream media coverage of life issues, family issues, of faith issues, of freedom issues, has been largely uh, some of the most pathetic thing you'll ever see. Uh, we go every year to March for Life in Washington, D.C. and uh, we bring about five reporters. And we're there with hundreds of thousands of mostly youth and uh, what you see on national and even local coverage is that it didn't happen. Nothing happens. I mean, imagine some guy's driving home, he's stuck in traffic for two hours, and he gets home and he tells his wife, you know, oh, gosh, you wouldn't believe this massive break going back and forth, and there was nothing we could do, we we're so late. And they're like, fine, evening news comes along, and they see nothing, and the wife turns to the husband, oh, there was a massive thing going on, I'm sure there was insanity. And so you have to have balance in coverage. And that's why we formed LifeSite News some 20 years ago now, to provide the coverage and the balance that's necessary for coverage on issues of abortion, on issues of life. We are, in fact, the largest life family news service on the planet. We do 15 to 25 news stories a day, every day. And uh, we have about 24 reporters. And so we do make very good use of the very little that it takes to run life news. We are able to provide a voice for the pro-life movement around the world. We get the people with the best arguments. We get the coverage from all over the planet. LifeSite News' coverage of the DC March for Life has spawned marches for life literally all over the world. Uh, in May, I'm going to be in Italy for the Rome March for Life. Uh, in Romania, they have marches for life in 25 cities around the country, all because of Washington, D.C.'s March for Life, which spawned it really around the world. And uh, in addition to that, we're able to provide the best arguments on the issue. So when everybody comes with the question of, you know, it's always the hardest one. Well, you believe in a woman's right to choose. Okay, if you can get behind that, then what is it? It's about rape and incest. What about the case? The hardest question in the world. And really, what's the best answer? The best answer are the witnesses of the children themselves who are conceived and raped. We know Rebecca King's an awesome lady, she's beautiful, she's a lawyer, and she is the product of rape. And so, you know, she tells me, you know, is my life not worthy? And it is because she's such an amazing person and life is so beautiful. When we can provide these witnesses, when we can provide these examples, they answer the very most difficult questions. According to the II, believe it or not, every county must be a pro-life activist. And the thing is, when you're dealing with a situation where in America alone yeah. there are one million babies slaughtered every year in this horrific practice, you have to be able to look at your culture and seize the most. If you were living in Germany in the late 30s, you would realize, oh my gosh, there is some major thing going on here where I, as a faithful Catholic, have to engage in. I can't just go and say my prayers and forget about everything. I have to engage in it. Whether that engagement comes through prayer on the issue, or through political activism, or through going out and witnessing, it definitely has to be there in terms of witnessing to your family and friends. Providing that example of life, one of the best life things Catholics can do is actually go out and have a family, be open to life. When I see these Catholic families, these young Catholic families full of children, open to life after their fifth and sixth child, it's probably one of the most strong, most amazing witnesses to life that 